All right, guys, this is how I, how I feed them. So they're not real hungry right now. They're not knocking water out of the tank, but they're, they're sitting around the front of the tank. So that means that they want to eat. So the way I do it usually is I, I put it on this side to draw all the, there you go, to draw all the, the dominant fish to this side. And then I quickly come over here and see the smaller, less dominant fish. They won't go over there. They'll just sit and watch the other fish eat. They won't go over that side. So I have to give all these little guys their own set of food. And that, that actually works out really well for this the shape of this tank. See, they're, they're starting to come back over here. So I gotta, I gotta bait them back. And then I'll throw in like one of these little, see it go down. They'll, they'll fight over it for a while. Little, little algae wafers, but um, so basically, feed all the big fish on this side, and then switch to this side for the smaller fish. And the fish, they know that I do it that way. So, the, whenever they see me walk in the room, the big fish will, will come over to this side, and the smaller fish, less dominant fish, will sit over here, and they'll wait. They know they're going to get fed, and they do too. The problem is, if I don't give these guys enough first. They'll eat theirs real quick, and they'll come over here and eat the little guy's food. So it's like a, it, is, it literally is a balancing act between feeding these and these. Um, but again, the shape of the tank lends itself to that really well. Now, one other thing I want to mention, I um, I, I use a combination. Let me show you real quick. This is what I'm. This is how I'm feeding the fish tank. This is important too because you have to, at least I have to mix the food types because if I just feed them all one size pellet, it, it, they, the big fish will eat it all, you know. So, so basically, in order to get the fish, the food to all the fish and not to let any get starved out, um, I use New Life Spectrum for, you know, these are the medium pellets. So it's this stuff, the small red stuff. That's the base food that all the fish can eat pretty much. But then I also include um, Excel, these medium sized pellets. These are sinking kind, and these are floating kind. But, well, this is new life, but they're the same kind of size of pellet. These, these float, these sink, but they're these bigger pellets. So the, the larger fish, the Akai, for instance, where is it? Let's see. It's a big Akai, there it is. Let's see if he's still hungry. Yep, <laughs> they'll just about always eat. Um, you have to be careful. You, you can't just feed them all the time because if you feed them too much, they'll get bloat. Um, so, so anyway, I, I feed them uh, different types, and this is good for like catfish. It's good for fish on the bottom that just don't have to, that don't get up to eat. You know, these sort of break down over time, and the fish nibble on them and fight over them. You know, so chunk that one in there. Yeah, see the big guy. He's too picky. He doesn't want it. No one's gonna get it. Yeah, they'll just nibble at it. Ultimately, the catfish usually end up eating. I have three big synodontists. There's one, and there's another one. And then there's usually one right here. They live as far apart from each other as they can get. One synodontist lives on this corner. One lives there. He is. He's the big one, he's the dominant one. He gets the, the best place in the tank. He gets the middle. And then, so there's one Tynodontus, one, and a third one. That works out really well because they, they keep the tank clean. You know, anything that falls to the bottom, they're gonna eat. So anyway, I use this blend of food and it works out to be this, this material here. As you can see, it's really good. Some floating, some sinking. And I use, believe it or not, I feed them about about one and a half to two of these per day. So that's a that's a, a full a full heaping tablespoon, you know. One and a half to two. This, this is actually about one and a half tablespoons, this black container. But I feed them about two of these per day, which seems like a lot of food for Mbunas, but there are a lot of fish and 
Yeah, you don't, you don't want to feed them too much. If you feed them too much, they get bloat and they die. Okay. So that's my feeding technique. Big fish on this side, little fish, a blend of different uh, food types, sinking and, and, and floating. Um, and, uh, you know, feed them lots, but at small times of the day. I, I feed them about five times a day. So I'll, I'll scoop one of these out, one of these out here, and I'll slowly empty it over the course of the day. And then I'll feed them uh, another good helping at dinner, you know. So, I do not use an automatic feeder. I have one. I do own an auto feeder. This guy here. But I just don't, I don't need it. I, I don't use it because uh, I, if I'm going to leave for a while on vacation, I'll use it. But uh, I, I believe that hand feeding your fish and kind of watching how they react is a big part of it. If, if I come in here one day and they don't just rush me for food, then I know something's wrong. You know, I, I know something's going, going wrong in the tank. All right. Hope this helps, guys. Talk to you later.